Hi, everyone, and welcome to Creative Chelsea. Today, I'm excited to share with you my fifth alternative idea using the Fun in the Sun July 2023 Paper Pumpkin Kit. This fun kit created nine cards, three of these fun fold card designs. These are the original cards that you can make with the kit. What I like to do is take the products that come in the kit and switch it up and make more cards. If you're interested in seeing all of my alternative projects, watching me unbox this kit and making these projects or anything else that has to do with this month's paper pumpkin kit, you are welcome to watch along with me on this playlist and I'll link it up here in this top right corner. So today we have another quick and simple card using some of the pieces from the kit. So let's go ahead and get started. For this card, we are going to need these products from the kit. So yesterday we made a really fun shaker card and we cut out this centerpiece from the card base. So you're going to need that. We also have the yellow back piece from yesterday's card. So you're gonna need a piece of this as well for the card today. And then you need this sandy blue sky, blue ocean piece from the kit. What we're going to do is we're going to take our paper trimmer and we're going to cut some of these pieces down. So this piece here is going to be our background piece. And we, so we're going to flip it so that it is horizontal instead of vertical. And we're going to cut it at four and a quarter inches so that it can go across our card. I like this little detail here, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that on my card. Then from the yellow, pale yellow background piece, I'm going to trim about a half inch from the top here, and that is four and a quarter inches. So let's go ahead and do that. And that piece is just gonna go back here. It's a little transition piece from the white to the dark blue. Let's just double check that that's four and a quarter. To give this card a little bit more interest, we're going to be stamping, sending an ocean of love at an angle on the background piece. So let's go ahead and do that. To do this, I'm going to need some blue ink and I'm using the Azure Afternoon ink pad and I'm using the Sending an Ocean of Love greeting that came in the kit. You also want to place your blue piece horizontally. And I like to start in the middle. So kind of just decide which angle you want it to be. Don't go too strong of an angle. You want it just a slight angle so that people can still read it um, as that background element. So once you have your middle piece there, you're going to decide where you're going to line up the next piece. So just for ease, I'm going to take the S and I'm going to put it above the A in an. So I'll stamp that and show you what I mean. Okay, so I have sending an, and then right above that A is where I'm placing the next S. And, I'm, and then I can rotate this too if I want to so that everything is easier to stamp. And I'm just going to continue that all the way up my piece of cardstock. And I don't think I can get the next one. Okay. So do you see how that repeating pattern is nice and even because I have a place where I am matching it. So next I notice that the end of my E, so the end of love, matches up close to the N in ocean. So now I'm going to go backwards and do the same thing. So I find the N in ocean and place my E there. And again, the A should be underneath sending. And I'm going to just continue to repeat that all the way down. 
my card. So once we have this, now we can make, we can fill in the gaps. This is just kind of our center guide. So I can take somewhere in the middle, I can decide where I want my next one to go. So if I want a big gap, maybe I would put the next E over the S, but I want something more like right where the D is. So I'm going to stamp my next one right above the D. So do you see how right above the D I've placed the E and I'm going to do the same thing here and I'm just going to keep going and filling up this spot. And you'll start to see that everything becomes about the same again. So I've got my S is above my A, my E is underneath the N, and so it just continues to make this really nice repeating pattern. So it's the D. And you can just continue that all the way over your paper. Let's see. Okay, so there's the top half. And I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going down at the bottom. So for this one, I'm looking at where the L is for love, and I'm stamping sending underneath the L. And we've just created a really simple pattern on the back of our card. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my greeting as well. And I'm just putting sending an ocean of love, and I'm adding it to just some white cardstock that I have. And I think I'm just going to place it on this long side here. There we go. Before I move on, I'm going to go ahead and trim this greeting down to about a half inch, maybe just a little bit smaller than that. So you'll get something that looks like this. Okay, so going back to all the pieces, I also wanted to use some linen uh, thread on my card, as well as some sort of shape to mimic the idea of sending an ocean of love. And so what I did is I took some vellum cardstock and cut out a heart. I had a retired punch from Stampin' Up, and that's the heart that I used. You could easily um, use any other heart shape that maybe you have, maybe a die, or you could even just draw a heart and cut it out. You don't have to use vellum. You could use, you could even use like a pink or a red. You could use um, a pattern paper. It's just just something to pull in that imagery of sending an ocean of love. So I've got my card base. I'm using thick basic white cardstock. And what I'm going to do is add my pale yellow to the back of my blue with maybe about a fourth of an inch showing. So just a little bit of adhesive there. Make sure it's at the top of that paper. And if you have some grid paper, you can use that to line everything up and make sure it's nice and straight. So something like this. And then I'm going to add this to my card base. So one nice thing about stamping on this piece is it's hidden all of those score lines 
amongst that repetition. So you're not going to see any of those score lines from that piece of blue cardstock. I'm going to smooth it out just like that. So I've got my twine here. This is probably about 17 or 18 inches of linen thread. I'm going to find the center and put that on the right side and then do a double wrap. So I'm going to wrap from the front to the back for one piece and then the back to the front on the other piece and tie a knot. I like tying a knot because then I don't have to worry about all the logistics of trying to hold a knot nice and tight when I'm trying to tie a bow. And I'm just going to smooth out that string a little bit so that it's not so um, curly. And then tie a bow right there on the right side. This I'm going to add to my card with dimensionals just so that it's popped up. And I'm going to place it right in the center of my card. Maybe with those two blues matching. So do you see how that blue color goes all the way across my card there? That's where I decided to place it. For your heart, you're going to want to put your greeting on first. So that way you know where to put the adhesive so that it that they don't show behind your greeting. I mean, behind the vellum. So to do this, I'm just going to line up my heart on my grid paper, and then that will kind of help me know where to place this. So it's nice and level on the heart. And then I can pop this on with some dimensionals. And place it in the center of your card. So it's going to look something like this. The last thing we're going to add are some of the clear sequins and I think they look really nice on this card so I'm going to pop two up near the top and place one maybe near the bottom right there and your card is all done well I hope you enjoyed watching me create this really simple and beautiful card using the July 2023 Paper Pumpkin Kit. If you would like to see written instructions or close-up images on how I created this card, you can visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. If you would like to get your own Paper Pumpkin Kit so that you can have a monthly crafting project, please subscribe using the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.